What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today you're getting a tour of my room, sort of. <laughs> uh, people ask me why or how, sorry, I store a lot of my fountain pen content. So this is going to be uh, a handheld video. So if it's shaky, I, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but I thought I would sure, sure, show you um, how I store some of my stuff. So this is my desk with, uh, you know, my stained faux leather, it's not real, uh, desk mat. So oh, this is my desk. Uh, this is the side unit that I have as well. Um, so in front of me, I have uh, where normally my journal is also under here as well. It's actually currently upstairs. Um, this is my like little ideas, jot stuff down uh, book um, from Galen Leather. Um, this is like, just like, just like a little, uh, small, small notebook. Uh, and then I have my currently inked pens, which I only actually have two. Uh, my Aurora Optima is upstairs right now. That's why this one's empty. And then in here is the Pilot Custom 912 with the Waverly nib. Um, so those three things I usually keep here. And then whatever sample I'm using, uh, that I need to refill from, uh, I keep just like in here, um, so this one right now, which is in the custom 912, is KWZ Walkover Vistula. Um, it's an okay ink. I like it. It's nothing like too crazy. There's a million inks like it. Um, I no longer keep my Cavecos in here, and you will see where they are in a moment. Um, so right now this is sitting empty, but I will have um, like some stuff in it sometimes. If I have more than two pens inked, um, then I will keep them in here. Um, Q-tips, cause fountain pen life. <laughs> uh, and then I keep my little tripod here as well. Uh, over here is my non-fountain pen stuff. Um, just random pencils, pens, this like, you know, stuff that I do have that is non-fountain pen with the exception of this Pilot Varsity, um, because every once in a while you do need some non-fountain pen stuff. Uh, my record player. <laughs> uh, and then in the top drawer here is where I keep uh, the pens that I use the most often. So uh, basically all of my Pilots, Lamy's, Sailor, that good stuff. Um, this pen is not mine. Uh, this is um, Emmy from Penventure. Uh, he's going to send me a label. I'm going to send that back. Um, all of these actually have reviews, by the way, including this little guy. And then if we go into the second drawer here, uh, it also has my currently used uh, pens. Um, so just a spare nib here. Uh, this is where I'm going to send the Visconti back in. Yeah, I had to put the phone down because I couldn't do it one-handed. Um, so this is where all of my Cavecos are stored. Um, you will see a review of this very, very shortly. Um, but yeah, none of my Cavecos currently are inked up. Uh, like I said, I only have two that are right now. Um, and that is not a Caveco. Um, So that is stored in here. And then I have my uh, everyday book which is Tomoe River. It's got a million stickers, uh, the front and back. And it's just my like, you know, write reviews, random test, nothing too serious in there. So that is the two drawers there. In the third is just a random assortment of crap. <laughs> so I got uh, some cartridges here. A uh, bunch of my converters, uh, random cartridges, more. I could probably just throw this out, to be honest. But uh, And then I have some cleaning supplies and spare nibs. So rubber grip, uh, brass sheets, silicone, grease, uh, a million Twisby wrenches, and then spare nibs. Um, I just keep them in ink vial samples that are wrapped in bags. Uh, then I have more cleaning supplies, so a bunch of ink syringes, uh, some preppy conversion stuff. I apologize for the sniffing. Um, so just random 
random stuff there. And then over here I have uh, leather balm uh, and just some assorted cases, odds and ends, that kind of stuff. And then uh, some empty ink files. And that's about it. And I just have this sort of like divider here to help keep it uh, as organized as I can. So the second to last drawer is not really fountain pen related. Uh, so this is where I keep all of my wax seal stuff uh, just inside here. Um, this is just an empty Caveco case. Uh, some black wing pencils, uh, some spare lead, colored pencils in there, stamps, a stapler, a calculator, just the random desk accoutrement, uh, you know, thumbtacks, roach ring ink, uh, paper clips, just random, random stuff, not too, not too fancy in there. Yes, my headphones fell down and my toes. <laughs> uh, and then in the bottom drawer is all of my ink. So let me see if I can actually get down. Oh, goodness gracious. Onto the floor. Uh, so I store them sideways so that I can see what each box is. Um, I'm not worried about it like leaking or anything. If I store it straight up, it's because either the label's there or I can tell what it is exactly from looking at the top. Um, but pretty much this is my ink. I have pared down a lot. <laughs> um, I have sold, given away, or thrown out uh, lots of ink. Um, I've only thrown out really like bottles that were almost empty and or could potentially have gone spunky. <laughs> um, and then I have like a million ink samples back here uh, that I'm trying to work my way through. Uh, and I have put a ban on myself so I can't buy any more ink. And then back here is another bottle of James Purdy and Sons because this one's about half empty uh, and this one's full back here. It's the only one I have doubles of because I am absolutely obsessed with it uh, and I'm glad I bought it when I did um, because it doesn't really exist anymore and those that still do carry it have put it up about another 30 additional dollars which is robbery. So <laughs> yeah um, so this is what my ink drawer looks like currently. And yes, I realize this is a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, so that is just next to my desk. And then we're going to go for a little walk. Um, my room is pretty small until I can have a whole home office here when my condo is ready. I'm just living in a basement. Um, so basically, we take a, take a stroll around the desk to where uh, my dresser is. And in the bottom drawer, I have the rest of my fountain pen stuff. So I have uh, a 10 pouch, 10 pen pouch case, uh, and just like a little faux leather jacket thing. Um, this obviously is not fountain pen. This is just a record maintenance. Um, and then here I have all of my like pads of paper, um, like little, little notebooks here and there um, that I will basically do the same thing that you saw my Galen leather everyday notebook. This is going to be like not serious note taking or anything, just like random jot it down, take, you know, do videos like this and stuff. Um, and then this is just random pile. Um, so it's like a mylar set. Uh, I have some blotting paper, some envelopes. Um, this is the superior labor a5 uh, leather carrying case thing and then some loose sheets um, pretty much reviews on all of this content as well <laughs> exists on my channel um, and then this is where I have my unused journals uh, that are up in line for next use so I've got um, the JLP author notebook uh, I've got a Penider one um, Claire Fontaine and then a bunch more of the Galen Leather Everyday Notebooks. Um, so this is where all of my paper lives. Um, and then just a little bit of uh, sage oils. I like to soak these little discs that go in the car to make my car smell good. Um, and that's it. That's that's all my stuff. <laughs> I've gotten rid of a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. 
um, because I don't need it. <laughs> and I still have a ton of stuff. I do actually have another fountain pen case uh, full of pens that I'm going to be listing for sale soon. Um, but that's that's about it. So let me know down in the comment section down below uh, if you store your stuff uh, in a similar fashion. If you don't store your stuff at all. I mean, I'm, you know, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. So if you only have a couple things, you may not need like a whole storage type system. Um, but if you like this video, hit that like button. If you liked it a lot and haven't done so already, do hit the subscribe. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on uh, Tuesdays, which I swear is coming. <laughs> uh, but guys, thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate you. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.